Nice. Mm. Right then. <laughs> just arrived back in Wales. Uh, the missus just treated me to <laughs> a lovely Nando's. But the most important part now is go and see the kids. You wait till they see the, the few kids. The kids. <laughs> the kids. You wait to see the reaction. Crazy. Do you want to see how I carry my food? <laughs> oh, <gorgeous. laughs> Calm down then. Down. All right. You... What's that? <laughs> No. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Calm it. Calm it. Calm it. You can sit in the back. <laughs> Cheeky cow. Oh, they're lovely, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> I'll see. That way, my whoop. <laughs> very nice. Thank you very much, though. Happy days. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> as you can see i um i've got a stick to do in this now for a cut for a week probably a bit longer but um the reason for this is work my muscle without actually walking on it so by using this machine now it's a track oh, the light now it's on it's contracting my muscles i got on my calf as well and then now we're on like a recovery mode and do that 75 times. And I'll probably look to do this maybe three to five times a day just to um, keep on top and make sure I don't try not to lose as much muscle mass as possible in my quad for the next two weeks. Because after five days, I notice how much um, how much muscle I lost. And yeah, not a great sign. And then... Honestly, when these two fight, they look like the angriest dogs ever. Don't know. Yeah, look at them. They know I'm talking about them. Yeah. Wait, don't show you teeth. <laughs> the most neediest dog you'll ever meet in your life. Nora. The boys are playing Newport tonight. I'm... Um, I think I'm gonna come down and watch. Me and my missus are gonna come down. Looking forward to it, to be honest. But yeah, these boots, as you can see, the old, old Preds. I used to use them back in my academy days. I was at Cardiff. I was at Cardiff 8 to 16, and I think they might be like a size 5 or 6. But yeah, a few old boots that I've had in my career. Maybe I'll get a nicer video when the. When it's all sorted. Or you can just look on my Instagram and you'll be able to see it on the reel. But yeah, I wish I kept my I wish my parents kept the small boots. I reckon they probably did, but it's probably trying to find up the attic. So if she's kept it then yeah, I'll add them to the collection. The, since I've been uh say 
I'd say 16. I've only worn Nike. Just find the boot comfy. I find Adidas. Then I just doesn't doesn't feel right when I'm wearing them. Uh, I used to love the Preds, and the only time I changed from Nike or Adidas was to wear these Puma ones. But yeah, apart from that, I've always I've pretty much been Nike ever since. Session done. Uh, oh, just did a finisher on the ropes. <laughs> Last night, at the end of the game, uh, my battery died, so I couldn't really say my my views on it. Um, I thought the boys were outstanding yesterday, apart from I think it was the seventy second to the and the seventy six minutes where, as soon as Newport scored, from a bit of lack of concentration in the set pieces, um, just knew that obviously from playing it in the past that. Once the crowd get behind Newport, then you know they do. Um, you know, it just gives you a massive lift at that at that stadium. But uh, the boys came back, fought well in the, my gym. Yeah, um, pretty much done now. This gym, it's got needs to be cleaned because I haven't been here for months. Got to fill a couple of holes. Got to do the hatch and oh yeah, my TV which was on the wall there is broke. Don't it? Don't know. I just won't turn on. So I need to replace that. And I'm not sure if I just said it, but get a bike. But yeah, one once I've got all that, then I'm sorted. <sighs> just finished core workout. Um, so as you can see, I've had my leg bent 
on a, a lot of the stuff for that reason i can't straighten my leg so yeah so try to improvise like with the kneeling stuff usually do it with a stand when i'm standing up those are the tough ones the ones with the so imagine you've got a boxing ring you touch the small then you touch the third one and you touch the highest one uh, i always find them the toughest ones you're supposed to do some med balls throw against the wall but it's plaster ball that I've, I think the med ball goes through the plaster ball. So I'd have to give them ones a miss until I'm back in football. But yeah, that's the core we've done today. Today is Monday and it's been a week since I've been home. I go back today, catch a half three train. It's been a good week to be home and, you know, spend time with the family. I've seen a couple of friends on the weekend. Uh, yesterday morning was probably my worst day. And probably the first time it's actually hit me a little bit. I don't know, don't know the reason why. Uh, don't even know what triggered it but yeah i just didn't feel myself at all in the morning i felt okay i, I woke up and i i caught up on the ufc fights which is something that i i really enjoy and i felt okay watching that but then and i just yeah i just didn't feel myself at all I don't know i felt weird um it's hard to explain i didn't want to do nothing I felt I just wanted to be on my own. Um, I was quite snappy yesterday, so I, like if my my partner said anything to me, uh, then I just felt quite short fused. Yeah, I'm short fused person as it is, like, but everything was just getting to me yesterday. Any little tiny thing, I don't know what it was, but later in the afternoon, I felt a bit better than myself. Uh, didn't really want to go for food, but my missus booked food with uh, a, couple, a couple of couples that we know. Uh, it felt nice to get out, but yeah, it was, it was just one of those where I just wanted to go to bed early. As soon as I got home, I just wanted to go to bed. Got back around 8.30, 9 o'clock. Uh, pretty much had my little moan, I'd, I'd say. I know I got tough day, more tough days to come, but... Yeah, I think that was the first time it actually hit me. I don't really, I don't, I'm not the type of person to speak about it. So like, you know, saying this to you now, it's like, yeah, it's a bit awkward for me. It's not my type of thing. I just like to deal with it on my own, get on, get on with it on my own. Because I'm an independent person, so whatever struggles I have, I just, I just prefer to deal with it myself. I don't like to have sympathy. So like, you know, my missus, I just said to my missus, look, I'm not, I'm not feeling myself today. And she actually, could, she understood at the time, like, you know, why I was being a bit snappy, which is not fair on her, but it was just because she was there at the time, or whatever she would say, would just do my head in. <laughs> um, but, yeah, try to stay positive, you know, positive thinking, positive outcomes. I, I like that little motto. So, last day in my little dungeon, I'm going to try and sort myself out by getting a haircut with my barber before I head back. The barber doesn't touch my beard at all, I always do it myself, as you can probably tell. It's not very good, but uh, yeah, hopefully you'll sort me out today and I'll feel, you always feel a bit better after having a haircut, so yeah. Getting this gym session done out of the way, I'm gonna pack my bag, I'm gonna see my parents' house that they build in, which I'll, put, I'll do a little video for you as well, so you can see how it's coming along, and then obviously I'll put their Instagram page up because it's a massive renovation, which is gonna be, it's gonna be unbelievable when you see it. When it's finished, that before and after, it's crazy.